She thinks she can grab my retirement money like it's cash and start spending it. No, you can't do that. I'm not a pushover, and I'm not going to let Jasmine push me around. So I'm thinking that I might forget about the prenup. Excuse me? I don't want to risk losing you, you know? Awesome! TLC really thought they had us fooled with their Gino and Jasmine storyline this season. When Gino showed up in Panama, he acted like he had magically grown a spine. He was finally saying no to Jasmine, even though at first it was only over a potato peeler. I don't hurry up when I cook. I'm not peeling with that knife anymore. I need a peeler. For the first time, he really seemed to put his foot down. The prenup conversation that came after, though, didn't go well. If there is a prenup, I'm not gonna marry you. But with Gino saying no to peeling potatoes, I thought just maybe he was actually going to continue to stand up to Jasmine and not cave in with the prenup. Things escalated, of course. Jasmine really hit below the belt, literally, with comments about her ex. I feel more attracted to my ex even than to you. And she told Gino to get out of her apartment, which ironically is the apartment Gino pays $3,000 a month for. In my last Gino and Jasmine video, I mentioned that Jasmine's actions were making her look more like a gold digger than ever before. It's like she really thinks that Gino owes her, whether it was because he sent her nudes to his ex or because of their major intimacy problems. There was no way that she was going to just accept the prenup without a fight. So now we are on episode five and it starts with Gino at a bar. I'm just like looking for like uh, a light beer. The wheat beer is really good. Okay. Jasmine at this point had kicked Gino out and said that their engagement was off. I don't know if she means it or she's just saying this because she's hurt and she's trying to get revenge on me of some sort. It really seemed like he was trying to figure out what to do next. So of course this random bartender just so happens to help him figure that out. He of course tells her his life story. I think that she wants to break up. <laughs> I know that's a lot to take in. Which I'm sure they paid her to listen to. I mean, does TLC really think that we are that stupid? I do actually think it would be kind of fun to talk to Gino in the wild, but you really have to wonder if he would be comfortable enough to talk to this stranger to get advice. And I'm sure he doesn't do a lot of public socialization with women with Jasmine around. First of all, if Jasmine saw this, she would kill him, with or without a will. But also, does he have the right equipment for this? I mean, his default is to be terrified most of the time. The bartender does give some insight on cultural differences when it comes to prenups. In our culture, very few people do the prenup. What a helpful stranger. So now Gino is getting an outside perspective that has a negative view of a prenup. If you want to join your life, I think that's not positive. There is no way now that he's going to stick with his prenup goal. Well, Gino, it's back to being spineless. Jasmine, on the other hand, talks to her sister about how she is worried about what will happen if she does sign a prenup. She's worried about being left with nothing and stuck in the US. And I think that this whole prenup thing is completely made up. I did before, but now more so. The last two episodes have been about them fighting over this, and neither of them have solid reasons behind their arguments. Gino randomly cares about protecting himself financially? Since when? He's already applied for the visa and given her a ring. His prenup proposal was on a scrap piece of paper. And now Jasmine is saying that she doesn't want to end up on the streets of Michigan if they get divorced? You can prevent that by having a financial agreement. I also think that this is fake because by the end of the conversation, she's saying that she just doesn't want to lose Gino. So she will sign something. And when they meet up later, these entire two episodes of fighting just end up feeling like a waste of filming. First, Jasmine apologizes for her ex comments. Like when I get really angry, I attack. Sorry if I hurt you. And then Gino does what we all expected. He changed his mind about the prenup. So I'm thinking that I might forget about the prenup. So surprising. There wasn't even like an additional conversation about it. Gino's just like, oh, prenup? Never mind. And of course, Jasmine is thrilled. I'm impressed. Like this is the Gino that I fell in love with. And she can thank this random kind bartender that definitely wasn't paid to help Gino change his mind. I don't believe that I'm gonna regret the decision of giving out the prenup. It's worth it. 
Who else thinks that Jasmine will be mad when she sees Gino talking to this woman when this airs? Even if she was truly just a paid actress. So are they just trying to fill in episodes at this point? Now I can't even imagine what they're going to do with the rest of the season. Their biggest made-up conflict, not involving potatoes, was resolved five episodes in. And Jasmine was even starting to say that she was even considering signing the prenup. Not sure I believe that though. I'm so thankful I shut up my mouth and let him talk first. But even though she won this battle, she still tries to get Gino to put her in his will. Are you kidding? She really couldn't just take the win, could she? I thought the prenup is the worst of the worst. We have a lot of other issues that we're going to have to work out. And then they start talking about how Jasmine doesn't think Gino's family likes her. Man, this could have been a happy, nice, peaceful night for them too. Osama wants to remind you to subscribe to the Kibbles channel. If you don't, he will appear in your window and read you poetry. Touch me, hold my bones. Gino's family has never accepted me. They are gonna try to be in between my relationship with Gino. So she still thinks, even without a prenup, that if something happens to Gino that she will get screwed over. But the fact that the prenup has been dropped and she is still worried about this is suspicious to me. Why is she so sure that something is going to happen to Gino? Should we be concerned? I understand wanting to be protected, but have we had anyone on this show be so worried about this? Also, this next part of the video is a possible spoiler about if Jasmine comes to the US or not. So you can skip forward to the timestamp listed on the screen if you don't want to hear it. The big question is if Jasmine actually comes over on the K-1 visa. And according to this article, she has been spotted in the US. I don't know if this is 100% true or not, but I think her being in the US now makes sense. Their visa was being processed during this season's filming. TLC has tried very hard to convince us that they might not get married, but I think that Jasmine going to the US was already in the works during this filming. And I think that all of this prenup and ex stuff was just completely made up. Now, if you are back from trying to avoid the spoiler, hi, welcome back. This is what I think is really going on. I think that the plan was for them to be on 90 Day Fiancé, not this spinoff. They've already been on the previous season of Before the 90 Days. But I think one of two things happened. They either started filming and used this footage for Before the 90 Days because they broke up, or their visa took a while. With whatever happened, I'm guessing they didn't have much content since Jasmine was still in Panama and not in the US yet. So I think they just made up this prenup argument for content. I don't think that the intimacy issues or the potato peeler incident was as much made up, but what more of a story do they have left to fill in the rest of the season with? We are only a few episodes in. What else is there for them? Well, there is one issue that they haven't circled back around to yet, and it's the whole fake ex issue. And that's really the last card they have to play for more drama. Hi, baby. Hey, it's good to see you. What's been happening? So by the way, this guy is not the ex-husband that Jasmine divorced. It's just an ex that she supposedly dated before Gino. But with how she interacts with him, she seems kind of shy. So I think that this is just another actor hired to pretend to be her ex. If he really lives in her building, why are they FaceTiming in this scene? He doesn't want to have sex with me. I, I, and I think you deserve someone like really incredible. And also, why haven't they run into him yet if he is truly right next door? Makes no sense to me. But I guess this is really the only drama they have left to explore. Are they going to drag it out for what, 10 more episodes? Let me know what you think about this. Were you surprised that Gino backed off of the prenup? Do you agree that their story is completely scripted because they are supposed to be on the OG 90 Day Fiance? Is the ex truly an actor? And hopefully we can get more entertaining scenes like the potato peeling one and to talk less about their sex life. That would be nice. We will have to see how this season plays out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!